John Flynn is the district attorney for Buffalo's Erie County. He charged the alleged gunman with first degree murder overnight. Mr. Flynn, thank you so much for taking some time with us this morning. The hearts of the country are with you this morning. As I said, there is real rage, and we saw it from the law enforcement officials yesterday about what happened there. Let me start by asking you about motive. We're hearing about this manifesto online filled with racist and anti-Semitic language. Um, we're hearing about the gun. We've seen images of it with racist language there. The sheriff was quick to say this is a straight up racially motivated hate crime. His words what is the motive so far as you can tell it this morning? Well, Willie, there's evidence that appears uh, that we've ascertained right now that, that show that the motive, motive potentially uh, is race-related. Uh, you know, right now, uh, he has been charged with murder in the first degree under New York state law, where he has uh, allegedly killed multiple people. There's also a provision in the murder in the first degree statute that talks about an act of terrorism. Uh, that the, the, the terrorism mechanism and the hate crime mechanism in New York state law are not actually per se crimes of themselves. They're enhancers, for lack of a better word. So if you're charged with a hate crime in New York, you, you have to have an underlying crime, and then the hate crime aspect would be an enhancer. It's the same with the terrorism charge. So, you know, right now, he's been charged already with the highest count that we have in New York State, which is murder in the first degree. So what we're looking at now are basically just potentially additional yeah. charges related to uh, racial and terrorism that we could add on. So was he known to police, Mr. Flynn? There's some reporting out there that he had threatened to shoot up his high school not long ago. Was he on the radar of law enforcement, as far as you can know? Well, he was not on the radar of law enforcement here in Buffalo. Uh, he was not on the radar that I know of uh, to the FBI. Um, it, you know, it is my understanding that uh, there was an alleged incident uh, where he's from, which is in Broome County, which is some three and a half hours from Buffalo, where there was some type of incident last year where he, he made some threats. Uh, you know, I'm aware of that. We're looking into that. We're gonna, you know, obviously contact Broome County uh, and find out what exactly happened, which could kind of help our case uh, in the terms of, you know, his intent and, and what his thinking was when he came here to Buffalo. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.